is a story about an ordinary teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like a piece of rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then, from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature gave him special powers. That bear became Super Ted. Just like that, I told you it wouldn't be long. I told you it wouldn't be long. So we're going to play the Black Hole Legacy. Another Wadget Eye Games game. This comes before all of that shit that we just played. Like that detective that was eating the noodles, he shows up in this series first. Which is cool. And uh, a game I played on my own, uh, without you guys, uh, called the Shiva. Uh, the chick from this game showed up in that, which is nice. So, you know, cool. Shared universe and ting. Love it. So, just had to reinstall it. Thankfully, it's only about fucking 250 meg. It's not a big game. What I'm wondering, though, if I press this, yeah, it's going to be in the tiny button. Thankfully... We do have this button, which makes everything a little bit nicer to look at. Quality. I haven't played this in over a year, so let's hope it goes well. Uh, no, let's blag it. Still view instructions by clicking the help button. Cool. Now, uh, the music in this is kind of fucked. It sounds nice right now, but then in the game, it's really weird. From the second game on, the music gets a lot better. So, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure, I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Wherever you are. It's a spooky boy there. It's relevant. See, now the music gets weird. Like the title sequence, isn't it? What a morning. At least I'm home now. Okay, so her auntie's dead. She loved her auntie. And she just tossed her ashes over the bridge. Believe me, by the time we get to the end of that series, this series, that will be even more poignant. Okay, so, we got the front door. It's the front door. Okay, right clicking it tells me what it is. I was hoping holding down right click would still show me objectables. Not so much in this game. Mouse is kind of fast, but then he's... He's being small screen. Not a problem. Speak to this bitch. Hi there. Um, hi? What so who are you visiting today? Uh, Express surprise, laugh it off, make an inquiry. This is very... Early days in Wadget Eye games, it's, it's very, very basic. You see, like, the graphics are slightly not as good as in the Unavowed, and uh, the menu system's not quite as pretty either, but don't worry, we get there in the end. Laugh it off. Oh, ha ha. Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building, I don't know you. State the facts, question his presence, appeal for sympathy, grudgingly take your leave, but state the facts. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I lived here no, for I'm not five nearly years. as drunk as I was yesterday or the day before, and that's shit. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd not know a super you. strong beer, All that's, there that's is what's to up. It. Got two darks, but. Uh, should have had them out for a while. Let me get to a better temperature. Right, question is presence. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. 
All right, Jim, where's the regular doorman? Geez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. Give your address. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E? Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! No! Oh. I live there, and I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True, but I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. It's just kind of fucking weird, isn't it? Uh... You know what, just fuck it, I'll take you I'll leave. be back. See you around. I know that I'm not getting through that without something else, so... Let's exit. God, the animation is clunky as fuck as well. Oh. Okay, fine. I guess we're going to talk to him some more. Is he ticklish? Hello. I don't know, man. I hope not. Uh, ask about the strike. How long is the strike going to last? <clears throat> I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. I mean, honestly, I just opened the door myself, you know? I mean, I find it kind of weird that there's a dude that has to stand outside the door to let you into your own home. Uh, I don't have any proof. But I'll show you proof? I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. It's fucking weird, man. Feel for sympathy. Please, I've had a really tough morning. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Ask for help. I don't want to do the okay. violence one, but I, I have that's no the one. ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you been here again? Like Be solutions quiet. to puzzles not all in this. Of us are social Men. butterflies. Okay. Whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could vouch for you. Uh, ask about Nishanti. Who is this Nis? Uh, Nish. Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. He lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. Ha! <laughs> you're a lying con this you. opposite 4 Your point. Bitch, no, I know my I'm building. Sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. That's what I needed. You can look for her there. <sighs> I'll okay. be back. See you around. Terminator. Not the bloody any key again. Where's your beer? You don't drink. Shut up. I drink. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty. I wonder why. I know why. Uh, but we're not allowed in. Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Hmm. I feel like weird drums are going to happen any second during this music. There they are. Mm. Oh, getting a migraine. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. Remember, um, I've already forgotten his name. The Bestower in uh, The Unavowed. With all, uh, it's when the game started, uh, the first guy, in fact, Jordan, he had uh, the voices in his head, and then we shot him. Yeah, it starts with headaches. That's her. I recognize her from my building. Nishanti Sharma, was it? Right, this let me save you a whole bunch of time. We can go and try and talk to her, like this. Uh, excuse? Oh, she I out. can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. So, we can't do that. 
But what we can do is because this dog is taking big interest in us. We go over here, right? He's going to follow us. If I come down here and they go round, look, he's trapped his lead and now he's stuck. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. There, all better. I can't That's take good. you anywhere, can I? Where's your... Oh, oh, it's you. Where's your bear? The lady <laughs> next door. I'm not paying yeah. I don't know, Hi, man. You've Rhonda, got two badges. Be happy with no, them. Rose Angela. Well, Rose Quite Angela. Who knew? I hope I my friend here hasn't been world. giving you any trouble. And yes, Jess, we're all glad you're here, even if you're working. Right, explain. He started following me. I'm not sure why. That's because he recognizes you. He's just being friendly, right, Moti? Just being friendly, hmm? See? Right. I'm not sure if he's anyway, in this game, but I just remember the puzzle involving that dog. I'm Nishanti. Another one. Rose Angela. So you said. Oh, right. Um. Yes? I have a strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. What are neighbors for? You know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? Yeah, that's the problem, see? He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah, I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. I've become friends. See, it's nice. Call scenes and ting. Mmm. More headaches. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just need to get home. All right. Let's keep walking. I don't know what to do, Hello, man. Jim. I can't help you with that. Sharma. Jim, this is I'll talk, I'll talk to Ben tomorrow see if he, he, if he, he has does? any answers. Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. I wonder if maybe the first one replaces the bear, but that doesn't feel right. I don't know. <sighs> Sarcastic. Well, now you're sure. And you must be so proud of yourself. Well... Never mind. Just get out of my way. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors after all. That we are, that Yeah, we are. I guess. <laughs> Looks like somebody is hungry. Fucking I'd best get this spoiled effects. puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Uh, polite. I'll think about it. No thinking needed. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? Well, we're about to have someone, but let's not skip ahead. Um, trying to make a joke. Oh, I have three great roommates. Oh? Yes, um, their names are me, myself, and I. Um... It's huh. a joke. Yeah, I get it. Very funny. I'm sure you're fine. Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. We'll see each other soon, Rose Angela, I'm sure. Hey. Yes? Yes? Um, you can call me Rosa, if you like. Rose Angela is kind of a mouthful, you know? All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. What a <laughs> fucking strange sound lady. effects. Mansell. You never have too many badges, like half a mark, some horse feathers. True enough. Now, the guy downstairs said next door. That would imply that's our door. But it's not. This is our door. See, it even says Rosangela's door. Dickhead. <laughs> fucking weird. Music. Home. Thank God. I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. The telling phone. Hello. This is Dr. Quentin from Bellevue Hospital. Yes. I was your aunt's primary care physician. Did you receive my letter? Yes, I received it. I haven't had the time to come by, though. That's all right. I'm sure you're busy. However, should you find the time today, my entire schedule is free. I... Sure, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Good day. 
If I don't visit him, he's just going to keep bothering me. He saved my arm. I suppose I should just get it over with. I, I don't... Really weird. Wait, what? Three roommates are called Huey, Dewey and Louie. <laughs> Cocktails. Ooh! That's at least 50 futons. Damn it. Right, uh, just go I'm to bed. ready for bed. Okay, don't go to bed then. Go to the computer. Do some writing. <sighs> I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll fill up to it. But today, it's just not happening. This is, that is, that is me when I try and write. Turn the computer off. Teddy bear. fine where he is. Remember the bear? Remember the bear that was in the crib when we were looking for the missing baby? Told you it was really a fucking bear. There it is. There's the fucking bear. Griff the fucking hunting bear. Photograph. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. Plans amazing. I'm giving you all the spoilers. Any more photos? I think what I need to do. They're this fine where they are. Great. Trash. I don't need to take the trash out. It's not even full. Okay, soz. I'm not this. up for watching a movie. Besides, I've seen all of them a dozen times. Well, you need to buy more then, don't you? I don't need to bother. I don't get reception anyway. Great. I don't need to touch it. I know these plants are fake. It is very oldie timey. Cook some grub. Cook? Why bother when every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? Fair. There's nothing in Cabinet. these cabinets I want right now. Well, pray tell, what do you. Oh, right, yeah, the letter. Let's read the letter. Right, Dr. Donald Quentin from Bellevue Medical Hospital, New York, New York. Miss Blackwell, my name is Dr. Donald Quentin, and I was your aunt's primary care physician here at Bellevue Hospital. I've seen to your aunt's needs since she arrived here 25 years ago. Please accept my heartfelt condolences for your loss. Feel free to visit my office at any time. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Sincerely, Donald Quentin. Well, I guess that's what we're doing then. I thought things might happen earlier, but I guess they don't. Let's go! <laughs> Rose Angela needs to watch Monkey. Of course she does, why wouldn't she? What year is this set? Couldn't tell you, friend. Couldn't tell you. We'll say early, early noughties, somewhere around the, the noughties. I don't know, probably when it was made, you know? I can't remember when it was made. Do a Google, friend. Alright, let's talk to the guard. Right, remember, remember when we were in that big building uh, towards the end of yesterday's stream, uh, during the the missing baby situation in in Unavowed, and there was a dude at the front desk, and we had to talk to him. There he is. It's the same guy. It's, it's not as much as me. All right, sorry, my bad, my bad. Uh, yeah, there's no point in fucking dealing with any of that shit. It's just. I'm here to see Doctor Quentin. Uh huh. Is he expecting you? I've got this letter right here. Okay, looks legit. Go right in. His name's on the door, you can't miss it. Thanks. <sighs> Don't mind me, just biting the nail off. Come in. Can't help myself, it's an addiction I've Dr. had since Clinton? I had teeth. Yes. I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. First had teeth. Oh, hello. Officer. Come in, come in. You got my letter, I trust. Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Stern correction, dickhead. You mean my aunt? Ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes, yes I did. But before we go into that, how are you holding up? Shitty. Uh, complain about your day, expect a remorse, cautious response. Cautious, cautious, because he's a physician, he's a mental boy, so... I'm take anything fine. And with it. Why? Oh, no reason. Just asking questions. Goes with the job. Right. You received the ashes? Yes. I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. Let's be honest. We can be honest, callous, or paranoid. I'm going to be honest. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel. It's not like I knew her. 
or even remember her from before. She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting her all those years? Habit, family, none of your business. Family. She was the only family I had. I guess I felt an obligation like I had to. And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead. Life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Yes. Keep writing your little book reviews in the paper, right? You know about those? This guy's a cunt. It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I can't I remember the when we were playing this on the channel, Krusty was playing this. Krusty said this was the that. only the reasonable guy in the game, I think. Because they were more interested in you. I might be incredibly wrong. He certainly said that was the only reasonable person in the game about someone that was clearly a dickhead. I mean, definitely in Life is Strange, the copper stepdad. Maybe it wasn't him, maybe it was just a stepdad and I'm fucking cross, crossing games. I don't know, I'll have to watch it back. Oh, it's a trailer. Who knows? Uh, defensive pan. I wasn't listening. Deadpan. Let's go with deadpan. Can't go wrong with deadpan. Oh? Their intentions were purely benign, I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. They wanted to know more about her family, and you proved to be, hmm, shall we say, less than eager to comply? That's their problem. Indeed. It was your choice to make. Your aunt was an... You know, again, you guys, you've really got to choose yourself a specific done, colour for your username. It would make my life so much easier to differentiate Just an informal between chat. These. We can discuss her condition. And yours too, of course. Always know when it's Tess, because it's bright pink every time. I swear to God, my, my vision just went so weird. I was reading those two, but they were kind of blurring together and at the same time trying to separate as if it was one line and trying to separate itself as if I'd gone cross-eyed. Uh, weird. Meanwhile, I remember a friend of mine's partner was complaining about how he had held on to his friend's dad's urn after scattering them. I wanted to take it off his hands, but he said he feels urns aren't like trading cards. Is is that a legit statement? Or is that some kind of weird joke that I don't get? Either way. Still a bit weird. Ask about Auntie's condition. You never could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating case. Fascinating? I don't understand. Forgive me. I speak from a purely professional perspective. I didn't know your aunt personally. Neither did I. But fascinating? It might come as a surprise <laughs> Shit, to you, that happened. yes. But she was practically catatonic. All she did was lie there for 20 years. She'd sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent, but I wouldn't call that fascinating. Well, as you know, she wasn't exactly catatonic. Well, I mean, we yeah, that, that is kind of weird. Right, she had outbursts. What, what would you do with yes, the Yes, and... You're gonna run around like fucking... Paul Bearer, especially with the Undertaker. Especially in preparation for her visits. Oh, what are you trying to say? Oh, we're going to fight for the double we are double not double 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 double. We're not content to merely keep a patient mm -hmm. comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. We were trying to heal your aunt. <laughs> and to <laughs> fucking do that, Paul Bearer, God rest his soul. We had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to Auntie. We tried to. Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. Pay attention to the story. <laughs> uh, I about my condition. Wait, what do you mean by my condition? Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion, there is significant cause for concern. Sorry, did you say hereditary? Yes, two generations. Your aunt and your grandmother before her. My grandmother? Yes. Yeah, we'll get into that, don't Patricia, worry. Patricia, I think her name was, right? I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was There's it. There was a nobody lot else. Of reading she couldn't exactly in a provide me with the family history. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Well, maybe well, you should an have. Did anyone else come reading. in to visit her besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. I do apologize. I just assumed. Well, never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. What are you saying? That the same thing is going to happen to me? No. I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. I wonder if Dave, when he started writing this game, was doing a George Lucas. Like, he, he planned out all the games at that same time. He knew exactly where the story was going to go, and he just chose this section to make for game one. 
maybe he just made it up as he went along. I'd love to know. I might ask him. Again, he's a very, very nice guy. Uh, ask about Auntie's words. If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming, her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced the to auntie. sedate her. Going when nuts. we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. But one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Pain? What kind you of keep pain? It since you have no it's difficult to, to say, it. but it was immense. Uh, you were good How immense? With his son as well. When we reduced her medication, huh. the transformation was dramatic. Her Damn, eyes you're a fucking open. weird guy, she my man. Thrashed. You really are a her weird screams. fucking guy. Love you, though. Well, we had to gag her eventually. Oh my god. I know. Did she still feel it when she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. That's about grandmother's condition. So, I had a grandmother. Apparently so. Well, How obviously. do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same word for word. Patricia's case was severe, and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. That's about the future. So what should I do? Right now? Nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no... I, I mean, I know a lot of people. I'm friends with a lot of people. And I can't think of any that well. might just turn to them and, and say, Yo, talk to me if, if your girl's complaining well, about you having an urn, concern. give me the urn. I might do that. I might be the kind of person to do that, actually. <laughs> Thinking about it. No, oh, no, actually, that might be kind of... That might be a bit too creepy, even for me. And I've worked in funeral homes, you know. I've dealt, I've dealt with that shit. I've seen a lot of dead bodies. I've seen a lot of innards of dead bodies. Shit's fucked up, yo. Ugh, I've dealt with horrible funerals as well. Shit that makes you real sad. Uh, what else? I don't know. Maybe banging on about monkey all the time. <laughs> it's pretty mental. You could find any show, other but... link between the two cases. Whew, obsessed None, much? Aside from the family connection and. Uh... A name. A name? But then what I name? sit here pretty much the every night. The they had on your grandmother streaming. was minimal. But there was one interesting Speaking item. Speaking of people I've never met During before. During her more lucid moments. Some of them I don't even know they look like. The name like you, Dad. Joey. Your aunt, too. Some would call that insane. And cry out that name on occasion. Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering or the weird. same thing for 25 years. I guess we're both weird together, eh, Dad? Weird boys for life? Leave the office. Is there anything else you need to tell me before I go? Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the next of kin, you're the beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. Goodbye. My schedule is fairly open now. Now, we so locked in a cutscene, I kind of do the same, because I kind of want to do that I'm bit before we start doing the reading. always happy to my favorite patient. Sure. We are locked in a cutscene. We are not locked in a cutscene. Option save. Is it still going to have my save games? Again, I did say I had to reinstall it, but... Yep. See, GBP. Gracious Bear saves. Uh, JS for J streams. Um, one. Because why not make it more confusing for later? Uh, there's no option to make the music stop. Which means when I hit the BRB screen, things are going to get real weird. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll be back in about two minutes. Because we got a lot of reading to do, like a carry on saying. There's that fucking music again. Come, no, let's go to the fucking apartment. Just... This area is quiet. Perfect. Right, intermission time. See you in a sec.
we're back in the room. Ugh. That button. That's better. Uh, Jess needs to drive. So you'll still be listening, just no chatting. Okay, well, I mean, it's not like you're chatting a lot right now. Hey, Dap. Um, say something in the chat. I think you may have got yourself a new icon, friend. God, it's weird with no music. There we go. That's better. There's our post. Oh, look at that. Uh, it didn't work there. What colour did you choose, guy? I don't know. When Trev comes back, you'll have to ask Trev. Because Trev knows how to change colours. But look, you've got a new icon. Okay, we're ready to get into some reading, because we've got a lot of reading. Page 1 of 25. Oh, Jesus. I said it was a lot of reading. I forgot it was that much reading. Early, early in the career of uh, Dave Gilbert here. I think 25 pages is, uh, is what we need. <coughs> right, so. Dear Lauren. So you have been at NYU for two weeks now and have not called. I am sure things are busy in the Big Apple, but don't forget the family you left behind. So this is a letter to our auntie. Lauren is the auntie, okay? Things back home are well. Jack starts high school on Monday, so he's a bit nervous. You know how he gets. Be sure to write him a letter. He misses his, his big sister. I admit I am still a bit nervous about your, you living in New York all by yourself. You were carrying ID with you when you go out like I asked? Over. You know me, just being a mum. Somebody has to keep you head, your head on straight. Kid, as your dad would say. And remember that you have a family back home that misses you. Love you, mum and dad and Jack. It shows turquoise, but it's showing up as yellow. Well, I mean, it's showing up the same orange it was here. Okay, hello, sis. I'm writing this on my new St. Clair Model 15. Mum says that improving my handwriting is a lost cause, so she got me this. Keen, huh? I've already typed up a few stories on it and this letter. Can't uh, type for long because Dad says the noise drives him up a friggin' wall. What does he know? It's always life in the big bad city. Troy is dead boring, as usual. Why'd you have to go to college, huh? There's nobody to talk to in this dump anymore. See you at Thanksgiving, Jacko. Dear Lauren, well, Thanksgiving time has come and gone, and so have you. In just two short months, I, already, I can already see you evolving into a capable young woman. You have outgrown this small town, Lauren. That much is obvious. Jack will be following in your footsteps soon, I am sure. Visiting you in New York is all he talks about. Speaking of Jack, I know you are worried about him. We all are. But don't feel that is your responsibility. You are his sister and you love him, but he's got to learn to live without you eventually. You are growing up. Let him grow up too. Till Christmas, love, Mum and Dad and Jack. Lauren, can you keep a secret? I don't want to say this over the phone in case mum or dad over here. Mum's been acting odd lately, and so it begins. It started a few days after you went back to New York. She was dragging me shopping when she suddenly screamed and fainted. She was pointing at the corner of the room, but there was nothing there. We brought her to the hospital, and she says she's fine now, but she's been very on edge and paranoid. It's hard to explain. Dad's no help. Can you call and try to cheer her up? She won't listen to me. Just don't tell her about this letter. I just hope she's okay. Jacko. Lauren, you seem concerned after our last phone call. I just wanted to write and reassure you that everything is fine. Let us know when you're coming again for Thanksgiving. With love, Mum and Dad and Jack. You know what? I can get a sword. I have a sword. I chose to the quiz. You do have a sword. And then Japanese writing. You got a sword. You wanted to be a moderator. Dap, you're now a moderator. Welcome to the world of my moderators on Twitch. Enjoy your new powers. Whatever the fuck they are. Dear sis, mum's getting worse. Don't ban everyone. Mum's getting worse. You said it best during Thanksgiving. It's like somebody is watching over her shoulder. Paranoia. She sits by herself for hours, pretending to read when it's obvious she isn't. Lately, she's been covering her ears as if to keep out of sound and closing her eyes tight. Dad's losing patience with her. He's convinced she's lost her mind and I'm starting to agree. She refuses to get any kind of help. Why can't she see that there is a problem? This isn't normal. Not normal at all. Why can't she see that? I hate to admit it, but I'm kind of scared. Scared for her. I don't know what to do. Jack. See, look, there's no O this time. It's just Jack. 
you can ban people, yes, but, you know, don't, because otherwise I'll have to unmod you and ban you, naughty boy. Just going to be pissed. <laughs> well, this is what he gets. You know what, you need a team of mods anyway. Because obviously not all, not all the mods can be here all of the time, so I need a team. Welcome to the team, my boy. Alright, Lauren, it has a name. Mum locked herself in the bathroom this morning. She sounded like she was talking to herself in there. Well, not to herself. It was like there was somebody else there. But there wasn't. I listened. I couldn't understand it, but she did say the name Joey. Joey, I love you, Joey. I asked her later who Joey was, and she got really scared. Then she got angry and said, If you know what's good for you, you'll never mention that name again. This could be the key. If we find out who Joey is, maybe we can save her. Jack. Made just a mod. Why, why, stop making me make everybody mods. No, I'm happy with two. Dear Lauren, well, it's done. The final papers have been signed. It hurt a lot, but it had to be done. Mum has now been committed to a mental ward. I have to say, I'm relieved. I know how you feel about it, but you weren't there. You didn't come home to see her screaming and tearing her hair out, running around the house, knocking down everything in her way. Cuts were all over her face, and the house was practically destroyed. I was so shocked, I just closed the door and waited outside for Dan to come home. It was awful. She clawed at him, clawed at his face, and drew blood. It will haunt my dreams for the rest of my life. Thanks for coming out, Lauren. I don't think Dad and I could have handled it on our own. She kind of drained us, you know. When I come to New York and visit, I need to get away for a while. Jack. Congratulations, summa cum laude. I always knew you were a smarty pants, sis. Now you've got the documentation to prove it. Thanks again for letting me stay at your place for the weekend. It was just like old times, except you weren't smoking then. New York is an amazing city and Colum Columbia has a great campus. I can't wait to move down there in September. But until then, I've got to deal with our grumpy old man. He's insufferable as always. Ever since mum, he's been hard to talk to. Very hard on me. I should tell him you're smoking now. Maybe then he'll concentrate on you for once. See you again soon, Jack. It's happened, Lauren. Just like you eventually said it would, I'm in love. Her name is Maria. She's from Italy and we met in statistics class. She asked if uh, she could copy my notes because her hand was tired. We ended up having lunch and we've been inseparable ever since. She's incredible. She's got the most amazing red hair and I want you to meet her. I'll come by soon. Red hair. You see, do you see where this is going? Like our playable character. Lauren, are you alright? Ever since mum's funeral you've been hard to reach. I know it's been hard on us. But it's been six months. I tried calling but you never answer. I came by the other day but you didn't open the door. I knew you were there, Lauren. I could hear you. I risked using the spare key you gave me, but you changed the lock. Come for dinner on Christmas Eve. Maria is a great cook. We won't ask any questions, just come. Mum might be gone, but we're still here. I miss my big sister, Jack. Lauren, who is Joey? I went over last week to give you a Christmas gift. You didn't answer the door, but I heard you talking to somebody named Joey. Is it a boyfriend? Are you seeing a man named Joey? Is that why you've dropped off the map, or is it something else? I don't think I need to tell you what. For God's sake, talk to me, Jack. Lauren, I know you're annoyed, but I'm not sorry. I didn't want to do it, but you left me no choice. Hiring a private detective to follow you was the only option left. He told me some odd things. You won't talk to me, but you'll talk to total strangers. You'll go to every far corner of the city at the strangest hours. And you talk to yourself when you think you're alone. Don't deny it. You heard it, and so did I. Not that any of it made any sense. That alone is disturbing enough. But then he saw you collapse. You were all alone in some obscure park in the Bronx when you just fainted. He was about to call an ambulance, but then he saw you get up again and walk off like nothing happened. You were always there for me growing up. Don't shut me out, sis. Let me be there for you now, Jack. That is relevant. Jacko, please stay away. Don't worry about me. There are things that need to be done, and I'm the only one who can do them. Don't ask me to explain. All I can say is that I understand our mother more than ever. She was never crazy, Jacko. Trust me on this and take some comfort in it. You've grown up and you've grown tough. And you don't need anyone to fight your battles anymore. You don't need me, but I'll always be your big sister, Lauren. I'm returning your letter because I refuse to accept it. No, you don't need to fight my battles. I'm not 14 years old anymore. We are still family. And that's important, especially now that Dad has died. Look, you obviously have something going on and that's fine. I don't have to be involved if you don't want me to, but I still want you involved in my life. Maria and I are getting married in November. You are coming, no stupid excuses, Jack. Greece is from Greece. If there were any words to describe the beauty of this place, it's, it still wouldn't do it justice. A perfect spot for a honeymoon. 
Things have been busy, as you can imagine, but I wanted to quickly write to say that I'm glad you made the wedding. Of course, I'm still worried about you, but somebody has to be. You take care and stay in touch. Maria says hi. Jack. Ads out the ass, really? Dap's not getting ads. Don't mind me, just chewing off another nail. Maybe, maybe Dap's not getting ads because he subscribed. Like legit, maybe that's a reason. <laughs> Right, dear Aunt Lauren, fucking only fucking three more pages to go. Yes, Aunt Lauren, you're an aunt. I'm a dad. Maria gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We named her Rose Angela. See, the red hair. See, this our dad. Jacko is our dad. Uh, after Maria's grandmother. She said, well, obviously, because fucking Lauren's our auntie. I mean, it didn't take too much thinking to get that far. Anyway. We named her Rose Angela after Maria's grandmother. She's so quiet, she hardly cries at all. I'm all set to spoil her rotten, but Maria says to take it easy. She looks just like her mother, and there's a bit of you in her eyes too. And mum and dad. Everything our family was or will be, this child is it. Life is changing so fast, I just want to hold on to this tiny creature and never let go. The future is an exciting place and I have everything I could ever want. I don't want anything to change, ever. Jack. <coughs> Last page. Dear Miss Blackwell, it is indeed within your legal rights to take custody of your five-year-old niece. With the death of her parents, you are the only living relative. Please contact our office and we will start the necessary paperwork. Sincerely, John Durkin. So the parents died when the kid was five. But she was five. Sad, it? No, you're not. You're a follower. You're a follower. We're affiliated now, yo. Subscribers are different. They're a touch above the rest. See how Dap's got all that shit in front of his name? What the fuck just happened? Ugh. I just missed all that dialogue. I'm going to quickly load up that because I want to know what that was. So let's load up that one. Because all we've done is uh, read the stuff. No, we cannot go back to YouTube. We'll never go back to YouTube. Never, ever, ever again. I love Twitch. I've got, new, I've got a bunch of new friends because we're on Twitch. Like that. You probably would have reached out through YouTube eventually, but who knows. And a bunch of other folks. I got so many. I got like four new followers yesterday, and a bunch of people follow me on Twitter as well. It's fucking crazy. Looks like it's from. Yep. So we're gonna read this from the stop. Dear Lauren, so you've been at. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna skip through the pages because honestly, we literally just did this. Now the phone will ring, and hopefully, it won't just skip through the dialogue. Hello? Rosangelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. We were demonetized. Yeah. I've got a little assignment. We've just today. been monetized on Twitch. We made that mean suicide. something, yo. College girl named I'm Jim gonna have Sherman. a sour beer. That's awful, but... You know for the Tessie's house, sour the grapes. NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Girl, this is Speak one of the, the best beers ever. And, hey, see it if you really can is. score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Good oh, news, whatever. you're about to get a new I'll job. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. Oh, we got photos. And a big old loading screen. Right, wedding photo. Let's let's take a look. That's your mum. That's your dad. There's Auntie Lauren. She's not looking. She's not looking, is she? She's not looking. Bit weird. There's a Christmas photograph. There's mum. 
there's Jack, there's me. Mum's looking a bit weirded out, you know, you know, when she went a bit crazy. Why is she looking a bit crazy? I don't know, I don't know. Right, I guess we've, we've got to wait even longer before things happen. Oh, wifey added to a story two hours ago on the snappy chatty. I wonder what that is. Weird. Must be that it's got to be the cat. It's always the cat. It's the cat or the child, as a rule. Right, so we got to go to the dorm hall. My phone is going Ugh. real slow. It's, oh, it's, it's not like hell, and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully, this won't take too long. Hmm. Right, Ari the Rugged Man's door. I think that's my, that was my joke last time. Right, got to try and remember these puzzles. Hmm? Display credentials. Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell with the Village Eye. Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know it is. Her? It is. Well, I am the RA for this. Floor. I'll read the book of mine. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. He's got a girl's well, name. I'm sure right. of it. But could you leave my name out of it? Amazing. I can't promise anything. That's up to the editor. Look, I'll level with you. My job here is already on the line, thanks to this mess. I won't say a word unless I have your promise. I suppose I can give my editor a false name. That should be fine. What do you want to know? Uh, Joanne. Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. The suicide? Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Uh, your boss asked for a, get a photograph of Joanne. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. Adrian. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. Adrian! None of the girls have complained. Adrian! Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort Adrian! of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. I love you. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yeah, whatever, guy. Uh, I don't think there's anything on this. We'll have a look. I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. Well, then don't. Here's the good news. The room we need to go to is right at the other end of the, all of this fuckery. There's nobody home. Wrong door, then. That one. Yeah? Uh, credentials. Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. Uh, shrug it off. Not last. Or defend your employers on move on. Just shrug it off. It's just a small paper. Yeah, I guess that. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. Uh, I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so yeah. she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? Fucking asshole, much. Uh, make an observation, show persistence, try to show understanding. Make an observation. So you and Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Can you go away? Um, be understanding. It must have been hard, living with someone you don't like. What? You're psychoanalyzing me now? What the hell do you know about it? You're really starting to piss me off. Uh, but pedal apologize for me and Steph has to apologize. Sorry. Whatever. <clears throat> Be honest, appeal to a better nature, make a deal. Make a deal. Look, just tell me a little bit about Joanne and I'll leave. Please. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. 
studied at our desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Right, oh, we can, we can do deductions, it's detective mode. Slept all night, studied all day. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student. Yeah, sure, whatever. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Adrian! Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Photograph. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Suicide! This is suicide! Do you have suicide. any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Juan. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. There are holes in the story. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. How... how do I... notes? Use it with that. Mm, no, I don't see any connection. Somewhere there is a connection. She says she goes out all the time, right? Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day and nothing else. We don't have that information yet. Fuck. At least we can exit out of that door. Uh, let's go home, see if we can't trigger the main point of this entire series of games. Get the old computer, do some research. Research. Joanne? No, I can't find any information about Joanne. Research her suicide. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. The photograph? Nope. No photographs of Joanne online. Figures. Best book anything. Adrian? Nope. No information about Adrian. This is good. Kelly? No. No information about Kelly. Slept all night? That's not something I can look up. Worked all day? That's not something I can look up. I'm a lump jock and I'm okay. Write the article. I don't think I have enough information to write a full article. No, I didn't think so. I should see what else I can discover. Thought I might have been pushing me boundaries least, a bit. At the I should try and find a picture. Yeah. I'm not ready for bed. Oh, dude. Have a little knock knock next door. Come in. I'm naked. Check out your Discord post to place. Hello, well. Rosa. Come in, come in. I don't even know don't how to mind do the that, pooch. bro. He's harmless. I don't understand Discord, like, at all. And for some reason it's not on my fucking phone. Well, that's gonna have to wait, bro. Let me guess, you're hungry again? Go get it! Excellent. Chatty chatty times. Uh, make an observation, make a joke, make some small talk. Let's go with some small talk. So, um, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? Blinder. Uh, thank her again. Flute, dog, palm, and neighbors. Right, thank Thanks her Thanks again, again for Talk helping me out Standard. earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? Give me a minute, bro. I need to get a discard on a really? discard. It only we'll discard it, no doubt. To the report on the radio. I need to get I discard on my phone. I suppose so. Ask about the flute. So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. 
What about you? Do you I swear, play Mummy, this thing starts giving me, me? notifications all no, the time. No, I can time. hardly play the kazoo. Dipping straight Let's out. See. You strike me as being Amy's creatively Amy's on this Discord, yet she's not here. Are you a How painter? rude! A writer. Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? Mm -hmm. You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. That Doggo. dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh, yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. What in God's <laughs> name is that well, fucking you icon? Had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Okay, I'm seeing stuff now. Right, ask about the apartment. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. She is here. I've literally just read, I'm here, and yet there she is. That's what my name is. Hey, Amy. Welcome to uh, Post Start with the Badge. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly, it's just. Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I found that most yep, people I'm gonna get fucking friendly, notifications from this bastard step. all the time people now, aren't I? Fantastic. Most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I Why do. Why meow, though? Ask about the park. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go. So, Amy, we finished on the vow and we've gone back to Blackwell, day, which is something I, I knew was going to happen. Me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, Get I had a bunch of people games, around Amy. me. You so I go there as often them. as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I and also I like the attention. you've got your Twitch Prime uh, crown. The dog run there. Might I suggest well, he did now that we can, closed it down. you might want to go up to the little subscriber button and use it on me, and then you can have a little bear head next to you as well. But not Dab. Dab doesn't get a bare head. He's, he's really bad, badly gutted about that. He does, however, have a first, because he's one of the first. He's got a gift box, because he gifted it a, a sub, uh, subscription. And he's got a sword, because he's a moderator now as well. Right, ask about the dog run. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody I did really see the knows. photo. I don't it's quite understand it. <laughs> Dogs started howling, running around like you maniacs, saw clowning around acting and strange. Like, Stop it. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high pitched sound that the dogs can hear but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. Could say that. that would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea. I do. But I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. You fucking I collapsed sense next anything. to it. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Offer to feed the dog. Could I try feeding the dog? Sure. Here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. Ah, that's what's happening. Got you. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Okay, so now I've got a dog treat. I could feed the dog. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep that biscuit. Here's my fucking biscuit. My biscuit for me. Until later, when it will not be for me anymore. Have we triggered it yet? Can we go to I'm bed? I'm not ready for bed. God damn it, woman! Research, is there anything left to research? No. Oh, God, I can't remember this game as well as I was really hoping I would. But also, I wanted to kind of experience it fresh, and obviously I can't experience it fresh. I know where this whole arc is going. 
<laughs> but being able to search everything, I guess, is good for you guys. So we're just going to crack on. Right, let's check on R.A. the Rugged Man. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah. Correct. Is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Uh, Kelly. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her right now. All the time now. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep. You do have a She's founder's badge. The first one is a founder's badge. That's what that is. Uh, slept all night. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Here we go. Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Studied all day! Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. If I can work out how to do that, then I will do that. But right now, video games. Uh, Kelly sleeps elsewhere. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No. It's not my place to ask. Run out of papers. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Okay, Just so now I have the information I need. Yeah, 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 name out of it. Uh, notes. Sleeps elsewhere, slept all night. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Something indeed. isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Uh-huh. Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Lies and deception. I could just lift it up, but I don't think she's here right now. Yeah? You fucking liar. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? Here we go. Start again. So what want... was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was still I know she was here. Science, she which clearly is ain't here now. Cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid. Acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. The suicide is a suicide? Did act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? Photo McGrath. I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. All right, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Adrian? Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it. It's the way it should be. Yeah, yeah, same shit. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just back up things. Suit yourself. Same shit. Cool. Go Thanks on. for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. And we bounce. Ugh. Oh, there we go. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. She knows. In theory. I mentioned it in the WhatsApp. She may have congratulated me. I this can't remember. This is getting bad. I'm checking. No, no, she did not. Tested. She was all like, woohoo. Right, you ready? Because now the, now the game oh starts. Oh my god. The series really hurts. starts here. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Right. No more interruptions. 
done. It's a pity Articles that our people finished, really aren't Picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Here we go. It's kicking off. No. What? What is happening? No one's happy it's to gone. get an ads, friend. The pain, it's gone. That was strange. It was like... I'll talk to Ben like, about that as well. What right. is that? Right, see this shit? Remember when the we looked photo. at that picture before? Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... There we go. No, no, no. I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest, that's Joey. all. Joey! Why do they always do that? Yeah, I'm not sure, because I've not read anything about uh, so, ad revenue. Riff, I'm pretty sure that, no that's see. just a Twitch Those thing. Tricks. The ads are there for the Twitch folk. Right, thought as much. Blackwell dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Creepy Joey, but cool. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time, Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? That is a fair point, Dap. Joey? Good girl. But you honestly, I've never read anything about doing anything around and look at me. I... The, uh, Don't the worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. I'd love to know what they're actually advertising. Um, I hope when I download this dream later to put up on YouTube, it won't fucking have ads in it. <laughs> accepting response, unaccepting response, confrontational response. I'm gonna, be, <clears throat> I'm gonna be accepting because I totally accept this shit. You really exist. Oh yes, live and in person. Although I'm not really alive, and I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. Oh, I passed that's the down name from the one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. I say the obvious question is origins, reaffirm your sanity. Let's go with the obvious. So you're a ghost. Yep. You're a ghost. There's a ghost in my apartment. Hey, you're sharp. Took your aunt and grandmother ages to work that out. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. 
That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Where did it start? When did we actually first fucking have a headache? It was the park, wasn't it? You mean the dog run? Yeah. That's where we've got to go. What? Right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Crack on, son. Right, what I want? You have to separate up stream this show before you enter. I've only seen Netflix original program once, but they're pretty long. Ugh, rubbish. So they're separate. And that was on another channel. So... We're not just getting random ad breaks. Like when you click to go onto the stream, you have to sit through an ad and then you get to the stream. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Uh, right, brush off response, overwhelmed response, wide response. Overwhelmed, I think. This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Sorry, kiddo, we gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid, not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Acceptance. Always acceptance. Between acceptance, confusion, and disbelief, in this situation, it's acceptance. Fine. Let's go. I mean, that's so, well, that's, that's not so bad. I don't mind. I don't mind that so much. If it was breaking After up the you. stream so people couldn't just fucking see that shit. Like, if we're streaming and it just interrupts, then that's Everybody bullshit. Everybody just ignored but... you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yeah, yeah. When you're and hear me. To refresh it. So yeah, I suppose it would do. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Spooky, spooky. Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. A spooky, spooky. I'll talk spooky. to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? To be charming hey, doesn't matter don't anyway. Be like that. Remember, if we need to know I some hate, shit about the spooks. We learned that in the unavowed, girl. right? Well, these guys, the viewers did. That is true, Dan. That is true. Support or be fucked. Who are you or fuck off? Worth the charm. So soon? I thought we were getting along. They all run. So hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Okay. Calm it down. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, no we're, we're sick. sick. He poisoned, he poisoned us. us. Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Run away like all the others. Yeah, there's no point in fucking talking to her. Charm. Like, beautiful. We can't leave yet, clearly. Has anyone told you? Well, that's a bit fucking. No. Nineteen twenties of it. Again. again. He made everyone go away. There is nobody else. You're him. Who? Him. Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. We're going. Look, just. Sit tight. We'll See, we're not ready out. for this shit yet. 
and we'll be back. We're just learning. It's baby steps. First Blackwell game. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. I know that subscribers You'll should get extra, the subscribers don't like it here. Uh, shit That's to the use in the Discord. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's like you should I be said. able to use your a subscriber ghost. emojis in the Discord, sure. for example. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No, I really should go to bed. I don't know how to set that shield though, and also I'm pretty sure I should hey, be the owner of the Discord. Yeah, sleep. I'm not. I shouldn't be here. You are. For the love of Pete. Day two of the Blackwell Legacy. Uh, what an odd dream. I know, Ben's got one. <laughs> Good morning, I'm, I'm part eyes. of that one now because I've got Discord. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Would not, Has no. anybody told you that you snore? <laughs> Throw it in his face. If it bothers you so much, you can always leave. I wish I could, dear. I told you, I couldn't leave even if I wanted to. So this is going to be my life from See, now on. See him saying dear and, much, and all the yeah. other things You're like, going to you know, follow me the, around the, the for the rest of my life. life. In this That's day and age, it feels kind of weird. Can tell. But you, great. you grow into Just it as the series goes on. If it, hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, time, he's really charming. I You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She... Made well, a I think me being a what mod kind of what is technically my own Discord probably questions? makes sense. What's with the third degree? Assert your rights. Play for sympathy. Get suspicious. Assert your rights. I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost. Fine. I'm a medium. Fine. My whole life is turned upside down. Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. God, that beer was good. You've accepted it, you say. So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. I mean, to be honest, Dap, if we're going to have a Discord, I kind of feel like I should make one myself. I feel like I should, I should be the boy that's in charge of that shit. Mod you up, obviously, but still. Let's be positive here. There's, there's positive incredulous or bitter, but yeah, positive is yes. the way to go. Good. Maybe More beer, please. Control. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. <sighs> I'm not even slightly drunk. We've been streaming. Here, take a hold of this. I don't know because we've I done two separate it? streams. This one's yeah, been for an hour and twenty. Yeah, the only part and of me I'm you can touch. To unfortunately. Touch. It kind of tingles. What is it? I had that Stuff shot yesterday, and it immediately or within death. within the third minutes we having that shot. What now? Bollocks. Now you pull. Pull the tie. I don't want to do that yeah, again. Yeah, pull. Okay. See? See that shit? Pull the tie, and you end up in this realm. That is what I was talking about with the other bestower, oh because they God. just sort of just went Where into his head, and then me? he got up again. Relax. He's fine. He didn't even fall down. He's just like, right, dealt with. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next uh. plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. At the same it's time, though, there. Dap, I don't understand How Discord we whatsoever. Here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, so I maybe mean you we're literally just inside it. your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place, forcing its way into your mind. I mean, clearly you got love for the bears and what we do, so... Seems fair. You're a mod here, in charge of the Discord. Most Dap, with the... Power. Right. Push with specifics. Inquire about your hair. That's about safety. Specifics. Please. So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world Sorry, to the next. Sorry, the mic. You bring spirits into this place and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a, a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. 
before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I do dig. Or I do not dig, but I do dig. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Okay, uh, top to bottom, we've got part ghosts. Ask about. Ask about part ghosts. Joey State is the tie. No more questions. So, top to bottom, start with the part ghost. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. Right, Joe, what's your status? What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. What about the tie, though? You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for Interesting. this. Interesting. Okay. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. That's about Joey's well-being. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look all right. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. Yeah, no I'm shit. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to... that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, <coughs> help her move on. Okay, ask about discovering a ghost identity, convincing ghost that he's dead, exercising ghosts. So, top to bottom, discovering a ghost identity. How do we identity. find out more about her? She uh, could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. Accusatory, suspicious, or confirmation response. It's confirmation. You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. Okay, ask about the blonde NYU girl discovering your ghost identity because the ghost is dead. It's like, so the, the, the blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. Uh, ghost identity. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. Oh, so we already did that one, it's just not gone. Convincing the ghost How do we dead. convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind Stop the ghosts who they are. My brain is mush. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. Could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. I felt like there wasn't a pop shield when uh, Joey's character was doing his lines. Because uh, you can hear a lot of wind coming through during the vocal delivery, but you know, again, early days, it is what it is. And I still love this game and the series. The series is fucking great. Uh, convincing a ghost Remind in Deadly How do we convince ghosts? Like ice? Like an op? Like, like an op? Yeah, clearly did that one already because it's not gone. Ask about exercising. How do we ghosts. help a ghost move a on? A ghost? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. Okay. 
I think I've heard enough. Not yeah, else let's get going. to communicate. What up, bad boy? Uh, right, let's have a look at this um, picture. Where's, where's the picture? Joanne's photograph. Okay, so that's Joanne. This is the dead girl, and this is someone else. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want... Joey says that this girl looks exactly like the girl in the park. Depends on the click. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. Cool. You ready to look at the other pictures that we had earlier? Because shit's about to go cray cray. Remember the wedding? Remember they were all loved up like, yay! And then there was, there was auntie, she was looking somewhere else. Let's have a look now. Joey crashes there yet we another go. photograph. He doesn't look happy. Human. He's got a sick though. Lucky him. Christmas photograph, remember? Uh, the auntie is a little girl. The, the, our character's dad, who's now dead for reasons that we don't quite know why. Along with his wife and, you know, our character's mother. But they were there at Christmas. The mother was sat there looking kind of, uh, spooked. Why is that? Let's find out. Joey crashes yet another. That's why. Because there's a ghost looking at her and there's a ghost. Uh, and she can't, she can't quite compute it. She doesn't understand it. She doesn't want to know. Madness. Okay, can we do any research? That's not something I can look up. Yeah, I didn't think so. No. There's no information about any of this shit. My article it? hasn't been published yet. Typical. No, I can't. Ah, oh, fuck it then. You coming? In theory. Yeah, sure. It's the first game in the series. It's very short in comparison with like the others. It should only take three hours to do, but if I go to three hours, which is another hour and a half from since we started, we probably still won't have finished it, and that will be very late at night. So I'm probably going to call this quite soon. And we'll finish this the uh, the next time we start streaming. But for the meantime, let's at least try to get a little bit further. Uh, we have many places to go to. Go to the park. Where the fuck do we go? I can't remember. Let's try the let's try the dorm. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. I remember fragments of the game, so there's stuff yeah. that I'm, I'm that I okay? really don't remember. I suppose the so. Out of, what do you want so. to know? Photo. Do you recognize the girls in this photo? Hmm. Well, that's Joanne. They're on the left. Mm -hmm. And the other two? I definitely recognize them. They were friends of Joanne. They were up here all the time, but I never spoke to them. Useless cult. Fuck well, you. that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yeah, open. After you. Yeah. Right, there's a puzzle involving him. He has to blow something. Can I? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger pop through his stuff. Can I use your phone? What? It'll only take a second. That is Fine, involved. fine. Just hurry up. Who do you think you're calling? It's my way of talking to the ghost without seem, seeming weird. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Right, we need to get out of here. Thank God that's over. Over? What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. Joe. Shh. Unless you want to explain that the wall is great conversation, I recommend we continue this in private. I thought this was private. Well, there goes that chivvy. So 
what, the only place that's private is our apartment? I need to prove some shit. I should have known. Hey, hey Jojo. Joey. What do you want, sweetheart? Powers, please. Uh, ask about ghosts. Ghosts? No, ask about... Yeah, ask about ghosts. No, we did those. History. Ask about auntie. What was Auntie Lauren like? What do you want to know about her for? I just do. Can't you tell me anything? Hey, we've got lots to do. Ask me later. Useless. Grandmother. What was my grandmother like? Her? We have to talk about her? What's wrong with her? Nothing. Forget it. Ask me later. Great. Joey, wedding. you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. Christmas. Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my... Dad? And Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. Okay, back. Joey! Stop Can't moving! Can't you stay still? Huh? The way you float all over the room like that, you're making me dizzy. <sighs> you sound like my mother. You're just gonna have to get used to it, babe. Leave now. That's not death. How did you die? Excuse me? How did I die? Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Is it? Yes! Sorry. <sighs> Ghostly powers, this is the relevant one. So what can you actually do? Do? As a ghost. Any powers or anything like that? What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't How touch anything. How are you anything. shitting for, Not really. Ames? Not really. You've been gone well, for like an hour! The breeze you felt when I... Manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical Don't presence. Don't worry. As with all our Twitch streams, they'll be up on YouTube at some point for you to understand. Neat trick, huh? Not really. Everyone's a critic. So, he can do blowy boy. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. You are missing the bear badge. What you do now have three more badges than you had earlier today. You have the most badges of everyone in our Twitch. So you come in. You're winning at yeah, uh, sure. Gracious Bear Twitch right now. Frankly, you are winning. Green Sword is a mod. The first badge is because he's one of the first people to subscribe. You'll only get one of those badges if you're one of the first ten people to subscribe. And we want to get hundreds of people to subscribe to this over the years as we go as we build. Uh, but only the first 10 get that. And since you're part of the, the OG crew, I feel like you should probably subscribe to get that badge. Uh, the the little present one is because he gifted a sub to Jess earlier. What does it mean to be a mod? Uh, they can, you know, if, if we get some unsavouries come through the channel, then he can just kick them out, ban the cunts. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It's just a helpful soul to be around. Ah, oh, Trev back. Trev back with his, with his with his one badge. Bless you, Trev. You're missing out, fam. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going there. That's where I'm going. I was just saying I want. I need to shut this shit down soon. And now everyone's coming back. <laughs> Jesus, everyone's rolling in right now. Hey, being being that a mod just helps uh, after you con control the the dickheads. Yeah. Um, subscribing helps me. Amy, you've got Amazon Plus. Amazon Plus, that's not a thing. It's Disney Plus. Amazon Prime. You've got a free subscription. You can offer a free subscription to any Twitch user you choose. May I humbly suggest myself. Can I use your it's phone a, again? It's a, a lower revenue It'll share. Take a revenue share is Fine. fucked anyway yeah. between Twitch and the, uh, the streamer. Hurry up. 
it's lesser than the regular sub, but it's free to you, so do it. <laughs> oh shit. Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? Um... Yes, I had some questions for you. Ah! Hey, <laughs> not bad, kid, not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. Destruction! Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. Me? What can I do? Request a performance. You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah. I need you to work your magic on them. Uh, sure, sure, I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Destructed, taking nice notebook. One. Leaving. So, congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? You're on the Patreon? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. I'd recommend staying with the Patreon. Because I'm pretty sure... Wait, hold... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, what you're doing on Patreon, actually, but... Do both. Do both. Right. What we got? Looks like standard poli -sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty... Strange. Right, I'd better see. take a closer look. Yes, let's look. Okay, more things to read. Joanne and uh, Susan and Alexander. So many men, so little time. Ali and fucking she's a slot. Brilliant. Right, can't hear the prof. I no longer care. He won't leave me alone. Can't concentrate. Alison is gone, he made her go. Susan is gone too, they won't let me see her. I'm the only one left, I have to hold on. What do you want, what do you want? See, fucking weird. Hey bro, there's some weird shit. Joe, shh. Oh, Try and keep it down, again. dear. You never know who's listening. What am I missing here? I know you, I know you do the, uh, fucking Patreon thing. I got a payment yesterday, today. By the way, it's, it's really, really, really appreciated. May 11th, you can be sold with Prime. Nice. Yeah, you say that, but I think Patreon actually takes less of a revenue share than Twitch does. So, let's not scare the people away from my dollars. As little as it is. But you know what? It, 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 it helps. You've got no idea, yo. It helps. And I appreciate it. Christ, I'm just here. All I do is I sit here, I play video games, and I drink beer. Sometimes, I drink beer. Spirits, or I do some shots. Sometimes I get paid twenty dollars to do shots if Mike's in the room. <laughs> but Christ, you people, I don't expect, I don't expect anything from you. So I, I, I just appreciate any love you give, any love you give. It's, it's so, so beautiful that you give that, that, like enough of a fuck uh, about, about me and, and what's going on. That you'd even think about the Patreon or, the, or or subscribing or any of that shit. I just I just love it. I mean, it humbles me. It really does. It really does humble me. I, I talk a big game like, fucking subscribe, fucking give me that money, get on the Patreon, do that, do us a donation. Uh, obviously, when I say it, I know I'm just taking the piss. It's all jokes. I don't know if it comes across as jokes. I hope it. I fucking hope it comes across as jokes. Because <laughs> it is jokes. Uh, but. Yeah, when, when you actually do that shit, fucking to the heart. I mean, obviously, whenever I get a, a little notification pop up for a donation, I'm always like, what the fuck? Blows my mind every time. Every time. Love it. Love you guys. 
absolutely adore you guys. Right, with that said, let's uh... I don't know, what the fuck am I doing? Man, I hate this place! I was stuck here for 25 years! Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? I don't know. I don't know, I honestly, no idea. Something over here at some point. Whoa! Hold on there. You wanna go in, I gotta clear you first. Same as I was last time, bruh. Playing the game right now. I will f I'll throw in the group. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're cleared. I know I'm cleared, that's why I was trying to leave. Just go straight past you, dickhead. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Hmm. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no, I... I was just wondering. Oh, real subtle. Not gonna do that. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. I'm not gonna tell I guess I'll job. head out. Very well. Right, Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. Useless. I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea what I'm doing whatsoever. I do know that I need to do another quick BRB. But also I know that we're going to shut down soon. Do I want to wait? No, I don't. I want to go for a BRB, which means we're going to have at least some more gameplay. So I'll be back in just a moment, my guys. Peace, love, and stay here for two minutes. Probably less.
what the fuck were we doing? We need music, this is weird. All this silence, don't like it. Yeah, it's better, weird music. But it's musical the same. What am I missing over here? Ads, uh, fuck. They've got ads, they've got ads, man, it don't matter. Uh, I'll show you the Discord photo on the mobile. Yep, yep, yep. Travis Sam joined Discord. You know what, man? It don't matter if they're in Discord or not. You know, we're here, it's cool. Relax your body. Uh, right. We got we got information, right? We we did a thing. We got this notebook. Oh, we got this shit. I remember. Can we, can we? Do we have any notes on this? An Alexander. The name Alex. Who appeared on with the doodle of Susan in John's notebook? Okay. That makes no sense. I. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Okay. Cool. Now I have an Alex. Okay, let's. Try. You coming? Yeah, sure. Try and do some shit with that. Everyone else is there. There were like three people there, guy. I don't think we're big enough for a Discord yet. You know what I mean? Blow up the game image? What the fuck do you mean, blow up the... Oh, right. <laughs> that one. There you go. I still have no idea how I made that setting, but... I did. Right, let's chat with the rugged man. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? I want to know where I can get more cheap beer because I'm running out. Free beer would be even better. Alex. Do you know anybody named Alex? As I said, I know several. You're going to have to give me a last name. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Okay. After you. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, you've ruined everything. Good God. Right, let's let's chat to her. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Thank you for your generosity. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on our desk. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Mission to search the place. She ain't gonna see Can I yes. take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. What? You're a detective now? Well, forget it. Right, okay. Do you know anyone named Alexander? No. Great. Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. You know them? Only through Joanne. Do you know their names? The blonde girl is Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Oh, really? probably Alex then, right? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. Oh, the beer choice is real. I'm gonna go for my last shit beer, because it's bigger. So I think we'll, uh, we'll get more out of that. Allie. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She 
She was over here all the time visiting what the hell Joanne. Is this? She was kind of sweet. We didn't comment on my message. <laughs> we laughed all the time. Because uh, oh, that was uh, annoying. Uh, it's usually my cue to get out of here. Why do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? Earning know, points, spending points. I didn't even know that Studying, was a thing. Partying. Pushing up daisies. Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right. It shows up highlighted for me in the real time though, so that's that's what matters. It's all about the live, man. Remember, because the video, that's going out on YouTube later. The reason the chat is on the stream in the first place is so when I upload this to YouTube, it makes sense when I'm talking to people, because otherwise we're just talking to nothing. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Uh, I wasn't listening. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Please. Whatever. Well, we'll work some shit out. We'll make the things occur. Okay, so... Ali, Susan, Joanne. Right, let's see if we can't get some more out of R.A. the Rugged Man. Fuck, shit is blowing up over here. I know I shouldn't be checking my phone while I'm doing a stream, but you know what? Fuck it, this once, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I say this once, I do it all the time, but since I've learned, that's a bad thing. Because hmm? obviously Hi, it is. It's me but fuck again. it, I'm gonna do it. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? about Joanne's friend Allie. I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's... never mind. It's not important. All right. I'm ignoring you. Don't worry, I'll be back. About Joanne's friend Allie. I'm afraid not. Who is that? She's. All right. Great. Did you ever meet Joanne's friend Susan? The name doesn't ring a bell. I'm afraid. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember. I am so lost. I've completed this game at least twice already. But don't know. Let's uh. and deal with that. Please note. Hmm. Sure, go in. I don't want to, but I guess we should... Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Oops. Didn't mean to click, but that's the thing. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. It's so quiet. It, it... Sweetheart, are you listening to me? They all go away. The deacon made them go away. Listen, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever it is, just let go. He haunts my dreams. He gets into my head. He poisons me. He's trying to kill me. But you're... Oh, forget it. Allie. Is your name Allie? 
Yes, that's me. Alan Montego, a story and a song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Ali Montego, at least we've confirmed who you are. Right, we got a last name. That's good. Susan. Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Uh, at the minute you don't do fuck all with your uh, gracious bears points. DARP has managed to highlight a message. That's the only thing you can do with him right now. Uh, I was saying earlier, my boy Ben, he's got at 3,000 points, Look, you can just request him to do a dab. tight. We'll figure this out. As soon as that comes up, and he's got to do it. He can't play the game, he's got to do it. So if he's having a boss fight, that then it don't work creepy. so well. What? You don't like dogs? And that's why it's you know funny. What I mean. But I fucking hate dabbing, so. What's the point of the highlight message? I guess it's just so that if, if uh, you've got a lot of views, a lot of comments going on, if it's highlighted, you might be able to see it more clearly, and therefore you'll focus on that message. <laughs> banana peppers, you see? Immediately, I ignored everything else that was there and read banana peppers. His point there is proven. Jesus, the, it, the comments are really all going off right now. Recognize the seagull sound. Da you see, Dab? That's weird, man! <laughs> you don't just recognise seagull sounds. How have been? Man, I've been losing my goddamn mind out here in lockdown, but I had a belting time playing that Unabound game. Since you missed most of it, uh, check it out on YouTube. You're going to have to do it in parts. Because uh, the first two streams were over six hours each. But it's a great game. Totally recommend it. Which is why we're playing this. This is, uh, this is a game made by the same dude that made Unavowed. This one came way earlier. Uh, what else? Did I get a Rima's ring? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that could be a thing. Read my ring. I could make that a thing and then uh, if someone redeems a Rima ring, they have to go, Rima ring! We can make it like a thing. Say this as a read my ring. Yeah, read my ring, I don't know. You'll say some shit now. I'm in the sky, it's night time. <laughs> <laughs>